Hey, everybody. Welcome to pregame.tv for Tuesday. We've got NIT action to kick things off this week. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Maryland at Alabama with the right to go to New York City and Madison Square Garden to the semis. Uh, Alabama laying three and a half in this one. The total sitting around 123. And it's funny, when we first started thinking about doing this game on Monday afternoon, around noon Pacific time, the line was basically two and a half, three and a half just a few hours later as people coming in on the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both teams, Marco, have been outstanding at home this season. You've got, in fact, Maryland, who comes in 18-3 and three straight up. Alabama, 16-3 and three straight up. Alabama, of course, is the team at home this time. Maryland heads into this one just 3-7 and seven in true road games, and that's basically what kept them out uh, of the big dance. The thing is, is that when they're at home, they only give up about 62 points per game. When they go on the road, they give up 71 points per game. No question about that, Scott. And these are two teams, though, that right now are both hot against the spread. Maryland's covered six in a row, uh, Alabama seven and one last eight. And really, both these teams, the way they were playing at the end of the season, thought they deserved to be in the big dance. And a lot of people agreed with them. And it's actually a shame that they're meeting here instead of maybe not meeting in the next round mm. in New York, because both teams got a chip on their shoulder and have something to prove. What I like about this Alabama team, and we've talked about it a few times on the first preview radio show, is they play a style of basketball that frustrates teams. They sure. play the low-scoring, Snell-type game. You want to, you know, they're going to be a close game. Every possession means mm -hmm. something. And a lot of teams aren't equipped to play that way. It frustrates them, and I think it's going to be the case in this one. Like Maryland, they don't face these kind of defenses in the ACC. And I make the comparison a lot of times. I think that's why Tom Izzo and Michigan State have such success when they get into the tournament and you get into the pressure situations because the team plays all year those type of games mm. where they're low scoring and tight possession. I look at the game. I'm leaning to Alabama in the game. I don't know which side you're on. These two teams met last year. Mm -hmm. Granted, Maryland's a better team than they were last year, but I don't know they closed the gap sure. as much. They lost by 20 points last year on a neutral floor to Alabama. Well, this one's my free pick, so I'll tell you I'm on. <laughs> Hey, listen, Maryland does a nice job on the glass on the road. They're a good rebounding team home or away, but they don't shoot well, as I mentioned, on the road at the top. And, in fact, they only average about 10 points per game from the free throw line away from home. So they don't get there often, and when they do, they're only making about 10 additional points per contest from the charity stripe. They not only drop off in scoring when they're on the road, but their assist-to-turnover ratio is pretty pathetic, like 0.7 assist-to-turnover ratio in true road games. And that's one thing that Alabama does defensively. They, they force about 50. 15 turnovers per game on their guests while only giving up about nine assists per game. Alabama, by the way, you always got to factor this into it. Uh, maybe not so much at this point of the NIT, but you still do to a certain extent. Alabama put about 6,400 people in the seats in their previous NIT home games. So they're pretty excited about this. The coach is saying the right things. The players are saying the right things, doing the right things, and the fans are coming out to support. So there is that desire to get to Madison Square Garden. I believe they're going to cover the spread. My free pick, Alabama minus the points over Maryland. We're going to lay the three and a half with the Crimson Tide. When we come back, we turn to Thursday's big dance action. We got LaSalle taking on Wichita State. Yeah, Wichita State. That and more coming up in just a bit.